Sorry. And it's Kelly. Kelly's nice. Yay. Hello. Hello. First time Welcome. here. Good to see you. Um, thank you. I've absolutely loved this. Um, so I've been um, in spirituality for two um, years now. Um, I come in through AA because I'm actually an alcoholic. Um, and um, it was the spiritual side that I wanted. That's what was missing in my life. And um, I don't know if it's a story I'm telling myself because I'm an addict, but like I've worked with Kundalini a lot um, and I feel the energy and I've had like teeth chatters and and I just I just need to find a way to break down <laughs> because as soon as that happens I think I'm special and different yeah um, I know. um it's I've had some beautiful experiences but then I think my mind just gets hold of them and like just skyrockets me, you know, yeah. up there. So, and you know, and it takes me weeks to, you know, come down. And um, and it's painful when I come down, it's painful, but that pain feels more real than when I'm up there. Mm -hmm. Um and every time it happens, I say, right, you know, um, I'm not gonna do it again. I'm not going to do it again. And I do it again. <laughs> How is your up there being experienced? Like when, when the mind takes hold of it, what actually is happening? I think I know everything. Um, I basically, um, I can go and teach and no, but they don't know that. <laughs> I, I am so arrogant with it, which isn't, isn't how, how I really want to come across. So, and then I'll come in with a side attack of, oh God, everyone hates you. You think you know it all. And, you know, it just leaves me wide open. Um, yeah. Yeah. It, it's such a, a it's, it's actually a surprisingly common ego game that, you know, <laughs> if you're coming in, especially from a place of sort of ego deficit, where you have like, you know, obviously we've never met before, so I don't know, but generally speaking, it's often if we have like low self-esteem issues with our self-worth, something like that. And then we get these, these tastes of these experiences that some people hold up as being very exalted and mm -hmm. that there's something really special about having this experience. And it makes you feel in that moment also deeply connected to other things. And you have this real overwhelming sense of this is truer than anything else and this feels really right but the irony is that then the ego as you can tell grabs hold of that and uses that as the support system to reinflate itself in the ways mm -hmm. that it hasn't really done healthful healthfully in the past mm -hmm. and it's sort of a an unhealthy over exaggeration to try to again keep from feeling the discomfort yes. of the unworthiness that has been there for so long and so it becomes just another way of deflecting from feeling the real discomfort that's there all the time. And then, of course, when you have that crash and then then it's, you know, you have the the thoughts about all the people who are, are seeing you in that negative way. And that's just reflecting the way that you've already been thinking about yourself, most likely. And then that pulls you back down into that place of deficit again, that place of of unworthiness yeah but it's also yeah. it's also the part about that that both are the same both comes from a deficit of of low self-worth and low self-esteem so the starting point is low self-worth and yeah. low self-esteem and then the inflated ego is a proof of i do not have low self-worth and yeah. i do not have low self-esteem i'm much more than everybody else yeah. so the starting point is the same so it's mm. it's about getting getting yeah. getting another starting point where you have a starting point in the stillness simplicity and contentment that there's nothing missing you cannot have low self-esteem you cannot have an inflated ego you cannot be better than anyone else nobody's better than you you know none of that is real in that stillness simplicity and contentment which we also working with in the lessons in the curriculum when you work with that that you really get into that point where everything is exactly as it's supposed to be there's nothing missing there's nothing that needs to be any different yeah thank you that was really really helpful um 
I will try to go from that starting point. <laughs> yeah, and, and just make notes when you do the curriculum and you do all the lessons, lessons, make notes because it is going to be useful for you to look back at when you get further along in the curriculum, then have the notes to look look back on and reflect on because you will forget. Mm. Uh, it's, it's very, very useful to, 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 yeah, to have it written down of where you are now. Because like right, yeah. Right, yeah, yeah, right now your mind is telling you that something is real. And at some point your mind will have forgotten that this was what it told you to be real and something else mm. is going to be real. So it's, mm. it's very useful to have it written down to see that it's just a story. It's just a fairy tale. None of it is real at all. It's just a thought. Yeah, thank you so much. That's really helpful. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. welcome. I'm just also thinking, last thing, and then I will shut up. Um, last thing is also that remembering that a thought is not important. You know, a thought is just something that is happening and going away again, just like a sound of a dog that is bike, uh, barking is just coming and going. And a car that is driving by is just a sight that is coming and going. It's the same with a thought. So when you have a thought about, I have low self-worth and low self-esteem, it's just coming and going. If you just sit and breathe with that, you will notice that it will disappear. You need to pick up the thought all the time to believe it. If you just sit and notice how long is it going to stay here, it has been between 7 and 11 seconds, and then it's just gone again. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Thank, Thank you. you. It was lovely to see you here. Yeah.